Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the realm of naval engineering and military prowess, delving into the extraordinary world of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford. Picture a colossal floating fortress, a behemoth capable of carrying entire squadrons of fighter jets, launching aircraft with magnetic power, and standing as the epitome of cutting-edge technology. History unveiled. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford, the world's largest warship, isn't merely an ordinary aircraft carrier, it's a colossal titan dominating the high seas. This maritime marvel pays homage to the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, a World War I veteran who served aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey during Pacific theater combat operations. The saga of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford commenced in 2005 when Northrop Grumman celebrated a significant milestone the ceremonial cutting of a 15-ton steel plate. By September 10, 2008, the U.S. Navy signed a colossal $5.1 billion contract with Northrop Grumman and shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia, initiating the epic journey of designing and constructing this magnificent carrier. An emotional and memorable moment unfolded on November 14, 2009 as the carrier's keel was ceremoniously laid down in Dry Dock 12. Susan Ford Bales, the daughter of President Ford, did the honors, eloquently recalling her father's commitment to honesty and integrity, qualities that would become the legacy of this mighty warship. The ship's crest, a symbol of pride and identity, was a collaboration between the ship's sponsor and the first commanding officer, Captain John F. Meyer, adding a personal touch to this colossal project. Construction Marvel Over the years, this mammoth undertaking progressed steadily. By August 2011, the carrier was structurally halfway complete. The excitement continued to build, reaching a significant milestone with 75% completion by April 2012. A critical lower bow was lifted into place on May 24, 2012, marking the 390th lift of the modular components that composed the ship. By December 19, 2012, construction reached a hopping 90% structural completion, with 446 of the nearly 500 structural lifts accomplished. Milestones continued with the successful landing of the island on the carrier on May 7, 2013. The final piece of the structural puzzle fell into place with the insulation of the last 162 super lifts, propelling the ship to a triumphant 100% structural completion. Preserving history was integral to this remarkable journey, and on July 11, 2013, a time capsule was thoughtfully welded into a small room, continuing a cherished Navy tradition. In October 2013, the ship reached another significant milestone with the installation of four massive 30-ton, 21-foot diameter bronze propellers. This marked the ship's readiness to set sail into the vast oceans. A grand christening ceremony on November 9, 2013, saw Susan Ford Bales breaking a bottle of American sparkling wine against the mighty hull, signaling a momentous occasion. Technological Marvel the U.S. Gerald R. Ford is not just a testament to size. It's a showcase of cutting-edge technology. Equipped with AASB-3 and asb 4 active electronically scanned array multifunction, multiband radar, the ship boasts enhanced capabilities for tracking and defending against threats. Innovations extend to the ship's island, where flight control operations occur. Shorter in length but 20 feet taller than that of Nimitz-class carriers, it's positioned 140 feet farther aft and three feet closer to the ship's edge. These changes improve flight deck visibility and increase operational efficiency. A groundbreaking innovation is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, replacing traditional steam catapults. This change allows for 25% more aircraft launches per day compared to Nimitz-class carriers requiring 25% fewer crew members. The EMALS system is not just a technological marvel. It is expected to save a significant $4 billion in operating costs over the ship's 50-year lifespan. Challenges and Triumphs Remarkable performance enhancements didn't come without challenges. 
In Pentagon tests, issues with new technologies arose, and final software fixes were delayed until after the ship's post-shakedown availability in 2019. Operational and primary system testing proved critical in the U.S. Gerald R. Ford's development. The ship faced challenges with critical ship systems, including the EOS advanced arresting gear, dual band radar, and weapons elevators. Issues with the main turbine generators surfaced in June 2016, but fixes were implemented, and these challenges were successfully overcome. Commissioning and Deployment May 31, 2017, marked a significant milestone as Newport News Shipbuilding delivered the U.S. Gerald R. Ford to the U.S. Navy. Formally commissioned on July 22, 2017, with Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23 performing the first arrested landing and catapult launch in 2022, the ship set sail on her first deployment. Teaming up with NATO allies and partners across the vast Atlantic Ocean, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, part of Carrier Strike Group 12, including Carrier Air Wing 8, U.S. Normandy, Destroyer Squadron 2 with U.S. Rage, U.S. McFall, and U.S. Thomas Hudner, engaged in operations and training exercises during its historic journey. Global Presence and Diplomacy The U.S. Gerald R. Ford left an indelible mark during international visits. Halifax Harbor in Nova Scotia, Canada, hosted the carrier in October 2022, followed by a four-day visit near Gosport, United Kingdom, in November 2022. Demonstrating versatility, the ship deployed to Norway, the Mediterranean and Croatia in 2023. In response to the Hamas attack on Israel, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford showcased agility and responsiveness, heading to the eastern Mediterranean to bolster regional deterrence efforts. This underscored the carrier's pivotal role in maintaining peace and stability in critical regions. Conclusion As our immersive voyage through the world of modern naval warfare comes to an end, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford stands as a testament to incredible engineering and dedication. From its monumental construction to cutting-edge technology and global presence, this colossal vessel represents the pinnacle of maritime innovation. We hope you've relished this exploration, gaining a newfound appreciation for the marvel that is the U.S. Gerald R. Ford. If this journey has piqued your interest, share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into the world of military might. Until our next adventure, fair winds and following seas.